So today is Michaela's birthday and I am busy making flapjacks. As in self-isolation as one does, has a tea party for one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Uh, these are our guests. We have Essio <laughs> Trot here, which is making his first appearance. Here's yes, her. Here's so her. her. Gender her first neutral. Is gender neutral, first appearance, <laughs> COVID-19 free, I think. <laughs> Bunny. 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 My mom made. Mom. Mom made that. Courtesy of mom. Yeah. Then finally, Honey. Honey. Honey's been with us for a very long time. <laughs> honey likes food, as you can see. <laughs> just but like it, her owner. Yeah, just. <laughs> but COVID-19 free, I think. <laughs> I hope. So I guess we are extremely fortunate to live in Cape Town right now because despite self-isolation we live in an area where you can really go outside still to the oceans, to the coastline, uh, to the mountains and still be quite isolated but get outdoors. So that is exactly what we are going to do today but very isolated still. <laughs> Our first stop of the day is a lovely drive and some viewpoints at Chapman's Peak. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that is where we plan on going to. There's a lighthouse in the distance over there. Zoom in. So the good news is we made it to the place where our lighthouse is. Um, the bad news is that there is the lighthouse and this apparently is a national park and due to the coronavirus outbreak all the national parks are closed so we can't actually get close to lighthouse exactly where we wanted to picnic so now we have to think of plan b um, i'm still going to try and fly the drone to see if it works to get some cool shots of the lighthouse oh, come on George. Quite lovely. The water is cold. So we are still on the hunt for a picnic spot. I apologize for the wind, but I don't like taking my big camera on the beach because of the sand. Our expedition has led us actually back to Chapman's Peak because everything um, was closed due to the, the quarantines. However, it's not too much of a bad thing. I mean, it's a lovely place to have a picnic, have some food. We have some snacks over here. Mm -hmm. Very good, hey, for your mm. birthday. Oh, Michaela's already eating, having a good time. <laughs> and I mean, this is our view. Look at this. Oh, man. What a winner. Mm. Uh, and we are about to eat. But what Michaela has packed for us. This is phenomenal. I think it looks pretty. I think it's great. <laughs> Some nuts. Quite healthy actually, despite the flat. Yeah, we, because we had a really big breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Bad breakfast. But good breakfast. Good breakfast. Yeah. It's not called bad food, it's called fun food. Fun food. Fun food. Fun food. Fun food. <laughs> Mm. 
So one last thing I want to say today is on the coronavirus and specifically around our attitudes towards this thing. Um, I understand times are tough and when times are tough it's very easy for us to all adopt a very negative attitude and of course now more than ever because the level of uncertainty in the world is so high. So it's very easy to become negative not about the coronavirus only but about everything and a lot of people I think seem to do that. I feel that it does no good and in a time like this Times are tough, so I think it's important that as many of us stay positive and try and look always to the positive side of something. I know there's a very small positive side to this thing, but I'm looking at it in a way that I'm, there's a bit of calmness. There's a bit of like calmness in the world. There's no rush or anything as there used to be. So it's a time for me to look inwards and to me to look at myself. And I think a lot of people should start doing this, or I hope they are doing it. Uh, looking at the way that we treat each other, uh, we hopefully understand that we need to be a bit more caring going forward, a little bit more sympathetic, a little bit more empathetic going forward. Uh, and overall, I hope that we come out the other side of this, because I know we will, uh, just better humans. As, as small and positive as that sounds, I really do believe it and I hope it does happen. Thank you for watching and everyone stay safe, wash your hands and just hopefully we can all be better humans from now on going forward.